Hello everyone, this is Nemagoin77 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D, the 20th anniversary edition. So last we left off, we did ourselves the fusion station level of the second episode here, went and destroyed the fusion reactor of the aliens, and had a bit of a hard time with some of those uh, kamikaze drones, as well as a lot of those ex other explosions there, but we were able to make it through. And uh, now uh, on to the next level. So without further ado, ready let's for on action. Here. Yes, ready for more action. We're entering the occupied territory. Yes, yes. Yes, getting really deep into enemy territory now. Yes, the occupied enemy territory, if you will. So yeah, here we are. We can see we already got a nice view of the Earth once again. As well as more, um, yeah, a view of the uh, moon as well, even. Yes, very nice. But we're gonna go ahead and open this door. Kill these uh, eggs before they hatch and spawn these slimes here. As well as, uh, yeah, uh, put her out of misery so we can uh, eliminate another Octobrain. Yes. And we got to this here. This is the Earth Defense Forces here. I think this is the. It's supposed to be the um, the global government agency that Duke is is working for, actually. And, you know, of course they sent their best man Duke Nukem to go and deal with the aliens here, because it's all it's uh, it's their final hope for humanity. Oh yes, it's all on Duke now. So, uh, so yeah, it's uh, pretty neat. But uh, what's not so great is looks like we got this huge door in our way here, this huge ass blast door with some, uh, another more ammo, including a chain gun cannon, as well as a portable med kit, but we don't even need this portable med kit, but we will remember its location for in case we do need to come back and get it later on. It's it. Alright, time to kick some more ass here, get some more of these alien chain gunners. Damn, there is a lot of them through these hallways here. But still, not too much for us to deal with, except, uh, oh shit, there is gonna be some, uh, yeah, there's some of these, uh, uh, what is it, right, the assault commanders, these, that's what these guys are called. Yes, the fat aliens are back. Yes, yeah, the fat alien commanders, dude. Yes, yes, gotta kill them before they shit a bunch of rockets on me, and oh shit, it's the Kamikaze drones as well, coming up to say hello. Uh -oh. oh, damn, okay. okay. I think we need to block this, uh, looks like windows here that are on a slant, able, allowing us to sort of go up on the sides here, but, uh, yeah, nope, that's not gonna work. But yeah, we got, like, little windows here that are, that, like, go up this way. I kinda, kinda cool how they did that, but, uh, yeah. Just go ahead and, and uh, eliminate more of you guys, and uh, yeah, get some more goodies. Leaving this Hollow Duke, but we don't need him, so should be good. But oh shit, yeah, nope. More Kamikaze drones trying to sneak up on me. I've noticed these uh, drones here is that they tend to only like really be able to fly in a straight line. They're not so good at turning, and whenever they do. Whenever you do circle around them, they sort of need to recalibrate a bit and then start heading towards your direction to try and suicide onto you again. So yeah, that's definitely one thing that I've noticed, but yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, make our way up here. Another big ass door for us. As well as some more aliens. Yes, more aliens to say hello to. Yes. And this guy just keeps on teleporting along. Yeah, you can only teleport so many times before you meet your fates there. So, yeah. Alrighty, so let's see what they got going on over here. Looks like another big open area. A lot of, uh, oh, yeah, more force fields, as well as more windows and more drones trying to blow me up. Of course. Alright, so yeah, very big place that they got here. Um, See if we oh yeah we're ready we're pretty low on ammo. Let's go ahead and use our uh, our shrink ray in this part. Yeah, shrink down all these aliens to size and then just stomp on them like so. 
but uh, yeah, no, unfortunately can't use the shrink ray on the on the drones here, so we have to use our good old bullets to finish them off. As well as you were just sort of stuck in the door there. And, uh, as you saw, as soon as we killed him, he just uh, instantly got squashed by the door. I don't really know how that worked, but okay. Uh, yeah, more of these kamikaze drones coming out to play, though. Let's go ahead and make sure to Yes. As well as, uh, yeah, have a look in here. These more of these uh, slimes going on about. Yes, slimes. Uh, Get the egg before it happens. Yes. Alright, so that takes care of, uh, yeah, takes care of these slimes here. Oh, oh shit, there's another. Another uh, sexy babe has been captured. Yeah, no, looks like we're gonna have to, uh... Looks like we're gonna have to kill her, unfortunately. But oh well, let's go ahead and make our way over here now. Take a look at some more alien... Fat alien commanders here. It's, 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 and then just, uh... Immediately shrink them down to size. Yeah, excellent. But oh shit, uh, Seems that these aliens are uh, do not agree with me coming in their spaceship and destroying everything, though. But thankfully, we've got ourselves another Devastator as well as the Key Guard, so we'll gladly be taking that with us, and we'll make our way back. Whoa! Hello there! Oh, my oh, 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 and uh, try it again now that we know there's going to be a bunch of alien chain gunners here. Yeah, we have some chain gunners. Get them. Yes. Uh, Very nice. Oh, I see it. I see an octo brain there. Yeah, I can tell by his shadow. Let's just uh, let's use the shrink ray on him. Yeah, shrink them down to size. And I, he somehow didn't shrink when I hit him the first time there, but okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's all right. It's Still got plenty of ammo for our shrink ray here. It's a very nice shrink ray. So let's go ahead and see what's up here. And uh, oh shit, that's a uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, three mini battle balloons. So let's go ahead and uh, and uh, immediately die from them because uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a pain to go through. But thankfully, we can use the shrink ray on these battle lords. Not sure if we can. I'm not sure if it takes more than one hit. Oh yeah, it does take more than one hit. Shit. That's yeah. No, that's not very good. No, yeah. Yeah, finally shrunk them down. But uh, yeah, they take that. Uh, yeah, they have too much health. Really pisses me off. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, figure out a different way here. So let's try again from this point again. I guess it wouldn't be, I guess the name of the, the level wouldn't be called Occupied Territory if we didn't have a bunch of powerful aliens for us to kill after all, so I guess there is that. Alright, so we're gonna take this one at a time here. Three battle lords, or a mini battle lords rather. Still a pretty big threat to deal with, oh shit, let's back up here. No. Not one of them. Come on, come on, yes! Alright. I think we can shrink this last one down to size. Uh, it will take a few hits though. Oh, where did he go? He's over here. Come on! Oh my god, how many hits can you take before you're shot? What the? I shot him like six times. Come on. Like, I, I get under, I understand taking a couple of hits with the shrink ray before she being shrunk, but he took six six hits and still didn't get shrunk. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on, man. Alright, let's try it again. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. I had to... Wow. Okay, let's let's not use the shrink ray on these guys, actually. Because I uh, thought that it would be pretty effective to use against them, but it turns out that you need to hit them, like, eight fucking times to shrink them down, which is kind of ridiculous. So yeah, not going to do that anymore. Uh... Instead, we're going to head back here and uh, go in 
collect that portable med kit because I remember there was that portable med kit way back here. So let's go ahead and collect that now. Very good. And yeah, now that we got our key cards, let's go ahead and open that door there. Yes, the blue key card door. Let's see what's any more aliens to kill. Oh, okay. sure enough there is. So this is some more alien chain gunners to take out here. That little chain gunner there. And some more chain gunners here. Thankfully, oh damn, they're really giving me the chain gun ammo to work with. Which is much appreciated. Yeah, it's very nice. Let's go ahead and see these. Oh, it's just the one camera there. But yeah, what's up with this room here? We've got this one switch. As well as whatever this thing is supposed to be. Some kind of gate or wall of some kind. But yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, we should be able to open this. We've already used the key cart. But yeah, uh, what do we need to do here exactly? So this wall. Uh, we should be able to jump on this wall. If there's anything. It doesn't look like there's anything else in here actually. But maybe that one switch that we hit did something elsewhere. So let's just have a look and see what else we can do. And that is, that thing right there uh, is just a regular turret. I think. Yeah, it just shoots regular la regular alien laser projectiles. It doesn't shoot any of the shrink projectiles that shrink you down. So yeah, it doesn't look like we can find any help around here. Was there another door somewhere that we missed or couldn't open for? Let's just go and double check. Well, there's up there, but I don't think we're supposed to go up there. Yes, yeah, just bear with me, folks. We'll figure it out. We'll find a, we'll find the solution to all this. Yes, with this uh, occupied territory here. Yes, occupied territory. It's not very good. We're gonna make it the unoccupied territory once we're done with it. <laughs> yes. Oh shit! Here, here we go. This is where we're supposed to. Be. Okay. So we go up here. Looks like some more alien infestation on these walls. Yeah. They're really getting up into these areas now. But oh shit! He spat at me. How very rude of him. That's okay. We got our portable med kit to immediately wipe that that shit off of us and uh, allow us to continue going on with uh, all of our mm. health that we need. To, uh, uh, oh, we got a switch right here. There we go. Uh, oh, damn, yeah. More mini battle lords. Let's go ahead and use our, our uh, Devastator. Because, yeah, these guys have a lot of health. As it turns out, they have so much health that not even using the Shrink Ray will really help you here. So, I guess we'll have to use, use our rocket launcher, and I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, yes, use our rocket launcher here. Open this back up. And say your prayers, Battle Lords. Yes, your time is up. Very nice. Alright, well, we got this access to this new platform now, and I would have been up to the level of uh, uh, falling off. So you know what, let's just use our jetpack and fly back up here. Because I cannot be bothered. Oh, yeah, we can up, guy. Alrighty then. But uh, yeah, looks like we got ourselves another holographic projection here. Now this uh, hologram is the Cycloid Emperor, which is originally the final boss of the game that we will see at the end of the third episode. Yes, he's the real mastermind behind the alien invasion. We've got to stop him and do whatever it takes. Oh yes. And even these battle lords here, as mighty as they are, they're just his little pawns and his army. So yeah, we're going to take him out one level at a time. And with that being done, that's this level completed. And let's, let's go ahead run. and move on to the next level then. The Tiberius Station. Alright, now here we are at the Tiberius Station. Now, I actually, I, I kind of like this level. This was actually one of my more, my more of my more favorite levels to play. Back when I played this when I was a kid. Alrighty, we got presented with ourselves with some alien infestation. We got some 
pretty badass music mm. here as well. And an air duct for us to just jump on through. Yes, the Tiberia Station. We made it. Mm. Hell yeah. All right. We're going to go and kill some more aliens. And as you can see, we are now on the moon. Yeah, baby. Let's go on the moon. Oh, yeah. As it turns out that, yeah, Tiberia Station is a station on the moon here. So, yeah. So, uh, soon enough, we'll be uh, fighting out into the desolate lunar wasteland. That is our moon. Oh, yes. Very nice. Let's go have a look at some of these security cameras, though. Looks like we got some more enemies for us to deal with amongst some other hazards and stuff. Very nice. Still haven't gotten the freeze ray yet, but uh, hopefully we should acquire it pretty soon because uh, it is a pretty awesome weapon in its own right as well. And it will definitely help us out. Speaking of which, we're running very low on ammo for all of our weapons, even our, even having to go through our pistol here. So let's, uh, I'm going to try and use my mighty boot a bit more if I can. Try and conserve ammo. Some basic aliens here to use it on. Yes, all will fall for before the mighty boot. Damn. We got I'm ourselves a nice uh, reflection of ourselves here in this big mirror, as well as this uh, very not so sneaky uh, slime trying Damn. to sneak up on us. I'm looking good. But yeah, Duke doing his uh, admiring Damn. himself and his reflection good. as always. Very nice. Well, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, should be able to find some stuff that can help us out, including some more water fountains here. Yes, more water fountains. Uh, I think, yeah, there's, there's one right there, actually. So we'll eliminate these slimes first. And proceed to drink some water. Because, you know, always got to stay hydrated to remain alert. And, uh, yeah, very nice. And healthy. Yeah, that was the other thing I was going to say, but yeah, let's go ahead and uh, keep on drinking uh, this very uh, tasty water out of this water fountain, just like that, very nice, and oh, we got a bunch of slimes to blow up here, and yep, that'll do it, so I guess we can just use our boot to kill the rest of them, there we go, alright, so let's see what else we got here, uh, we got another door, Oh shit, oh shit, no, 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 no. <laughs> There we go. That's one way to take care of that problem. I'm seeing a lot of these, uh, these slimes around here. Set up another trap there. Oh shit, oh no, I didn't do it in time. Well, let's use, let's use our pipe bombs then. Pipe bombs are always fun to use anyways. Oh, get off my face. All right, well, let's just uh, have a bit of a more drink of a water mm. here with our water fountain. Yes, drink all the water. Very nice. Should be good to go in a couple of seconds here. Yes, all right, we're good to go. Uh, so I did see this elevator here, so I want to see what's up in this area. I've got some more assault rooms to deal with. Yeah, more alien scumbags. Going to kick you down. Yep, just like that. But, uh, oh shit. Good. Oh, uh, did we get the. Oh, I think we did get the card just now. Which is good. But, uh, what's not so good is that we're running low on health. And we do not have a. a portable med kit either. So, yeah, it's a little bit troubling. But, uh, oh well, we still got our trusty water fountain after all, I guess. So, we can always just use that. Oh, yes. Let's see what's in these air ducts. It looks like a lot of slimes have taken up to live in these air ducts as well. So I guess it's up to us to go and clear these out. And this leads back to the lobby. Let's head back over this way. Yes. Looks like a locked area. Can't go through here. Alright, well, let's, I guess we'll just have to go this way. Yep, we're gonna go to go this way. Get some more shotgun shells. Kill some more slimes. Yep, more slimes for the slimes. Of course. 
We've got an armory here, but we can't open this door. Hmm. Maybe we can, uh, probably a, remote, a remotely locked door that can be opened with a switch somewhere, but as to where that switch is, I have no idea. But hey, it looks like we found a different area, a secret area, if you will. What's in this secret area exactly? Well, not much. Some weapons and ammo. No health, but oh well. I guess we're just gonna have to uh, drink out of our water fountain for a while, well, but... What's, uh... There was a door having a bit of a... a bit of a seizure there, but okay, we're just gonna ignore that. And, uh, go get on with, uh, drinking our water. Yes, we've got to drink a lot of water. We're pretty low health, so yeah. Just bear with me, folks. Because, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to do this. We need to drink the water. Yes, lots of water to drink. I'm very, I'm very thirsty. <laughs> what can I say? Very, very thirsty. We're working, uh, uh, with killing the evil aliens and saving the Earth from the alien invasion can really work up quite a thirst, if you ask me. So, yep, let's get the uh, to keep on drinking here. It's the keep on the drinking. The drinky schminky. Yep, yep, I drink and I drink and I drink some more. Can, can't stop drinking, won't stop drinking. <laughs> To make it sound like I'm an alcoholic now, but you get the picture. All right, so we're finally almost healed fully, and we got full health now. Excellent. Ah, the wonders that water will do. Am I right? No, you can just go ahead and get from here. Yep, you can die now. As well, yeah, I did see one of you up there. Just, uh, oh shit, I didn't know we could jump up there too. But apparently we can. Guys, and very kindly give me some more ammo. Uh, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, it's like it. oh crap. Oh damn, that sort of worked. We got to kill some of their. Some of the some. aliens from shooting those explosives, but not all that much. And uh, we did take a mm. fair amount of damage, so. You know what that means. Time to take a piss. Damn it. <laughs> Much better. Yeah. <laughs> Groovy. Uh, you know, who would have thought that drinking all that water would make me want to have to piss? But here we are. And there's a. It's again an alien t on the crapper again. Taking a shit, of course. But uh, we should be good for health. So we don't need to go back to the water fountain again. At least for now. We're gonna head over here. Yeah, see what's over here. This one here. Octo brain. Uh, let's go ahead and use our shrink brain. And then just blow these guys up. Just like that. Wait a minute. Why is it not. Oh, well, uh, okay, so apparently shrinking your enemies down makes them immune to explosions for some reason. That's good to know, but okay. Yeah, we got ourselves a little bridge here. And oh yes, we found it. Get some. Yes. All right. Say hello, everyone. Now, the freeze thrower—it's basically the freeze ray of the game. Does indeed freeze them. And and I only for me to get rudely interrupted. So we'll try this again. But yeah, we finally found the freeze ray. Yes. Ah, uh, no matter, we'll just freeze them the point here. Yeah, the freeze ray, which is very nice. I like how you can just freeze your enemies like that and just smash them into a, a billion pieces with your uh, mighty boot, as you do. But uh, unfortunately, we did take a lot of damage, so we're going to have to uh, head back to that water fountain once again. Yep, I know, it's a bit of a pain, but we're going to have to do it. So where's the water right sort of well, well, we won't heal till full health, we'll heal until about 70 or something. So we'll save you guys a bit of time. So yeah, let's drink, drink some more water. And... Yeah, we should be good. Alright. Oh, 
always go, it's better to be safe than sorry. So let's head this way. There's that bathroom again. Go through here, and yeah, have some more fun with our new toy here, with our new freeze ray. I know, I like, I know it's called the freeze thrower, but I like to call it the freeze ray. It's basically the same thing, really. So yeah. Uh, aliens who wants to get close in it in time. Yes. Yes. Uh, we've got plenty of freeze bolts for all of you. Now, one thing to keep in mind when using the freeze ray here is uh, is to be careful because the the icy projectiles that this thing fires do bounce off walls, as you can see right there, and they can even bounce back and hit you just like that. And if they hit you enough times, they'll completely freeze you, and you're pretty much fucked. So yeah, just uh, keep that in mind. But I did see another crack in the wall, so let's go ahead and blow that up. See what other secrets they're hiding from me. Oh, oh they give me a jetpack. All right. Well, I guess uh, let's go ahead and use this jetpack then to fly up here. And uh, oh, hello, turret. Let's blow you up. Because yeah, let's go ahead and see what's up here. And oh, this just leads back here. All right. Let's just uh, open it. I do not have. Are yet, and uh, it sounds like these aliens are shooting each other. There's something going on beyond this door. Yeah, yeah, who is? this? I think some of the aliens are a little angry with each other because they seem to be doing some infighting. So while they're doing that, and while they're getting that sorted out, I guess we can just come back here and heal. <laughs> Gotta heal, gotta stay hydrated. I know, I know, but we gotta do it. We gotta do it. This is you. Especially since hearing all those gunshots behind that door is really making me feel a little uneasy. I think it sounded like another one of those mini battle points behind us. In one of those rooms there, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take things a little carefully here. We'll heal to 80 health and then head back. Alright back here, and, uh, is that armory open yet, or... Nope, it's still not open. Shit. Ah, uh, that's okay. We got ourselves the freeze right now, at this point anyway, so we should be good. Yeah! Epic freeze ray to freeze all of our enemies. We're gonna freeze them all in time. Yes. Frozen in time, baby. Who, what, who wouldn't want that fate? Alright, let's go ahead back up this way, and, uh, yeah, we don't have the, yeah, we need to still find that red key card wherever it may be. So, we're just gonna have to do some more exploring. I know there's this vent here, but have we been up in this vent? Sure. Oh, I don't think we have, actually. I'm seeing some slimes in here. See if we can get in the vent. Come on, Duke, get in the vent. Get in the vent. Get in there. There we go. Right. Alright, looks like it is taking us to your area, and yeah, I knew it, there was indeed a mini battle lord behind that door. So let's see if we can go back this way, and uh, oh, this little locked area is opened up for us now. Yeah, very nice. Uh, other than that, yeah, that's uh, okay, we're gonna see if we can use the freeze ray on this guy here. Maybe it won't have any words. Come on, freeze him, freeze him, freeze him! What is this auto aim? What the? Oh, it is hitting him! There we go, yes, okay. I can tell he was flinching, so we were hitting him there. No, it didn't look like we were hitting him, we were. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and heal up a bit here. Some of these guys, and we did use the last of our freeze ray ammo, unfortunately, but that's okay, since we can just uh, switch on over to our explosives. Blow them up to smithereens, yes, just like that. Yeah, ah, piece of cake. Epic. Alright, well, mm. we're on the other side of the door now, and I guess it turns out we didn't need the, uh, red key card after all. Groovy. So yeah, there is that. And excuse me, my damn body's trying to hiccup on me, so just, uh, ignore that. As we'll make it through here and I'll try not to get burned by the fire too much. Damn it. 
But hey, let's go ahead and see what's in this little area here. Looks like some more slimes. Yeah, and... Oh, looks like the exits. Yes, we found it. Well, what do you know? It turns out that we didn't need the red key card after all. We just need to use our brains to figure out uh, a way around and outsmart the system. Yeah. Very nice. Alright, well, with that being done, that's pretty much this level finished. Uh, just head back through this air ducts again. And, yep, yeah, we did it. So let's go ahead and save our game then. Save there, and save there. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, another job well done. So, let's go ahead and hit this exit switch and hightail it out of here. Alright, so that's the Tiberius Station completed. We did pretty well. We got ourselves the new Freeze Ray weapon, which was indeed pretty epic. And we even we killed most of the monsters. Not, not all of them, but we got most of them. There's probably mostly slimes left over anyways. But, yeah, that's, uh... That's that level done, and that's pretty much going to be about it for t for today. So thank you so much everyone for watching. If you like the video as well as the other ones that I upload here, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I upload videos almost every day, so be sure to hit that bell and get those juicy notifications. Be sure to stay tuned for next time to get some more Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D, the 20th anniversary edition. So finally, this is Nemo Wayne 77 signing off. And as always, take care everyone. Goodbye.